Hey there, I'm Mike George. I'm the founder of Color Music and welcome to my channel. So what is Color Music? It's a system designed to help you master the guitar, but not just so you can play your favorite songs by other artists, because honestly, that would be a waste of time, since the whole point of playing is to write your own songs, as every satisfied musician understands. So what you get here is a visual system that will change the way you understand music so you can compose amazing songs, no matter what style or genre you're into. Why most musicians fail. You know how it goes. You want to learn the guitar, so you take lessons and spend a lot of time practicing. But after doing that for a while, it's frustrating to still be struggling to write a catchy tune. And eventually, it just feels like you're wasting your time. Or worse, you start to question whether your ideas really are as good as you thought they were. But I'm here to tell you that the problem isn't you. It's not that your ideas aren't good enough. The problem is simple, actually. You really do hear good music in your head. There's just this weird disconnect between your ideas and the sounds that you can actually make on your guitar. I mean, think about it. Music is an invisible art form, which makes it legitimately difficult. Music is sound and sound is invisible, so you're kind of at a disadvantage. You can't see a song as you write it in the same way that any other artist can see what they're creating, whether that's a painting or a piece of pottery or a sculpture. So it's a uniquely abstract and challenging art form to work with. Not only that, but music is also the most analytical of all the arts, like chess, full of patterns and logic and structure. So trying to learn the guitar, let alone write songs on it, is like trying to play chess blindfolded, which is difficult at best, if not impossible, right? Well, obviously it's not impossible, because there are people who have figured it out. Those who are auditory and tactile learners who can play by ear and just get it. But for those of us who are visual learners, it's tough because the options for visualizing music are challenging and limited to only three main options, finger charts, tablature, and notation. On this channel, we're gonna get into all of these options. And while they can help you build your technical proficiency on the guitar, they're pretty limited because they were really designed to facilitate performance and dexterity. They were not designed to illustrate how music really works or to help you as a songwriter. And I might be the first person who's actually told you that. Because as it is now, the music publishing industry and music education is totally designed to facilitate performance and dexterity, not so much for songwriting and creating your own art. So most musicians are turned into consumers and performers instead, not self-reliant songwriters, which might be why a lot of musicians feel insecure about the songs they write. So what do we do? What's the solution to this? The answer is music theory. The truth is, songwriters don't have any superpowers. The secret to their success is that they've somehow cracked a hidden code that guides them in the process. Of course, they can't see this code with their own eyes. The songs they create are invisible. Yet what they all have in common is that they've discovered the underlying patterns of music within their mind's eye, which is amazing. And the way they do this, the way they master the art of songwriting, is by learning the science of sound. That is, by learning the principles for organizing sound in such a way that people are compelled to listen, which is called music theory. Now, I'm not talking about music notation, though. In fact, the majority of musicians today can't read a single note, and I'm not talking about tablature or finger charts either. What I mean by music theory is actually more interesting, because at first, the phrase seems to be a contradiction in terms. Literally, it means the act of contemplating music, and the word theory comes from the Greek theoria, which means to look at, view, speculate, or see. But if music is sound, and sound is invisible, then the real definition of music theory is to look at the invisible, which is impossible, right? Or at least it's not very insightful using the traditional methods we have, like finger charts and notation, which look more like braille for the blind than anything else. So with that said, what then are you supposed to do? How can you learn music theory if you aren't an auditory learner? The answer, as you'll see for yourself, isn't to use man-made symbols like these to visualize sound because they're arbitrary and confusing. Instead, the solution is to picture the natural patterns of sound, music, using the natural patterns of sight, color, based on a special and unexpected way of combining them, that is. And when you do this, what you suddenly get is a kind of x-ray vision into the hidden world of sound, where you can literally see what all the best songwriters have grasped all along. You discover all the patterns you can play on your guitar and can see the logic of how they relate together so you can use them to compose your own songs. And what you'll see is amazing, a beautiful symmetrical kind of geometry. This is what I mean by music theory. 
and it's totally fractal too. Like a cyclical, multicolor branch of audible mathematics that's easy to learn and extremely powerful when you apply it in your own songwriting. So now, with color music, you're free to express your own ideas with clarity and ease. I know, all this talk about fractal geometry is a bit far out, and the idea that we can actually see sound may seem a little crazy. But hang out with me, watch some of the other videos on this channel, and one thing will become obvious and undeniable. Color and music really are just two languages that tell the same story. So join me and I'll help you gain a clear and complete picture of how music really works so you can focus on the fun part of actually writing your own songs in a coherent way. The best place to start is at the atomic level where we'll break musical patterns down into their smallest and simplest units. To begin, check out the next video in the links below. And I promise you will never see music the same way again.